everyone, oh, welcome back to Andy and Sandrina and if you're new here, hi. Welcome to the channel that vlogs, hauls, does beauty related videos and other miscellaneous videos. So today I am bringing you a semi anti Valentine's Day look using affordable makeup. So what that means is, have you ever had this feeling of you want to do something but then you don't want to do it because you're lazy or you don't want to go out or whatever the case is? Well, basically that look is the, I want to celebrate Valentine's Day, but I kind of don't want to. Mm, that type of mentality. And quick disclaimer, there is construction going on still outside the apartment building where I live, so bear with me. Anyways, let's get started. So before I start my makeup, I like to moisturize my face using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. It's brilliant. It's fantastic. My skin gets very dry during the winter and I need to keep it hydrated. I try to do this most of the time, but today my skin is like, girl. You need to hydrate. After I go in with this Rose Water Hibiscus um, spray, I found this in Marshalls. It was about $3.99 and I love using it. Beautiful. So now I am going to do my eyebrows and I'll be right back. For my eyebrows, I use the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil in the shade Deep Brown. <laughs> in the shade Deep Brown. Then I used then I used my LA Girls Pro Concealer in the shade Classic Ivory to clean around my eyebrows. And then lastly, I used my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer to just prime my eyelids. So this is how it looks so far. Honestly, I would just go out with my eyebrows done. That's it. <laughs> but let me not be lazy and actually cook up something. So for today's eye look, I'm going to be using the Take Me Back to Brazil eyeshadow palette by BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to start off by using this color up here as my base. I'm using this fluffy brush from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to put it all over my eyelid to just have that as a base or set basically. So what I'm doing is I'm patting it onto my eyelid instead of swirling around. However, sometimes I seem to forget so yeah. Now I'm going to be using this yellow right here. I'm going to put it all over my eyelid using the same Real Techniques brush. Maybe I should zoom in. Hmm. I love this yellow. Combining both yellows to get the extra pigment. And I'm just tapping it around. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. So tell me, what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? Are you guys celebrating with your friends, your family, your significant other? Let me know in the description box below. In my case, I'm going to be with my parents for Valentine's because I'm always with them on Valentine's. Because unfortunately, my grandmother passed away on Valentine's Day years ago. So I just like staying with them. But I do sometimes tend to celebrate it a day before or the weekend after. Sometimes with friends, sometimes with my partner. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to use, let's see, I'm going to use this pink right here. Using this eyeshadow brush from Wet n Wild. I got it from the Dollar Tree. So if you go to Dollar Tree and you see this, you <sighs> we get eyeshadow everywhere. So what I started doing now is just mix 
these last two pinks together so I can get more pigment. Now I'm going to be using this brush from MAC right there and I'm going to smoke it out. So using the Wet n Wild brush I used to put the pink on my eyelid, I'm using it again to blend it out with the red eyeshadow. So now using another fluffy brush, I'm going to go in and use the darker red right there and add it to where I put the other brighter red in the outer corner. There's so much fallout. That's why when I use this palette, I basically do my foundation last. Now using my e.l.f. eyeliner, I'm going to just do a wing. Now using this glitter eye glitter that I found on Amazon. It was a pack of about eight of them for like five something or six something. Put it on my crease. You can barely see it, but it's there. Now I'm going to use the Balm eyeshadow cream pencil for my waterline. And this is in the shade Dugout. Now I'm going to use my favorite mascara. It is the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. I'm gonna go and put my foundation on, use this Maybelline Baby Skin Primer, and I'm gonna go ahead and use my e.l.f. Flawless Foundation in the shade Nude, and I'll be right back. You hear the terrible construction in the background. <sighs> now I'm gonna be using my concealer by Maybelline. It is the Instant Age Rewind in the shade Medium Moyen. basically my favorite concealer and of course this is the Morphe sponge so now using my favorite contour stick from wet n wild this is the shade call me maple I just love it because you just roll it up it reminds me of the LA girls contour stick that is very similar to this one I'm doing this very lightly because I don't want too much today I just want it's simple so when you blend using a beauty sponge this is what I like to do I need to go up and when it comes to the chin, also upward. But make sure you blend through because you don't want to look dirty. I don't contour my forehead as much anymore because I have bangs now and that covers it. There we go. So now for blush, I'm going to use this blush from e.l.f. in the shade Rose Royalty. It looks like this. And I'm just going to be using this Wet n Wild brush that I also found from the Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to go with this other Wet n Wild flat brush and I'm just going to put mix this pink and red together. There we go. Using my single highlighter from ColourPop the Super Shock Chic in the color, in the shade, sorry, Smoking Whistles. I'm gonna use this tiny brush and I'm gonna put it in my inner corner. Mascara on my lower lashes. There we go, we're almost done. Set my face I'm using this e.l.f. primer mist. I know it's a primer mist, but I'm still gonna use it. I like using it as a setting spray is because it leaves my skin hydrated. Now for the lips. This dark purple liquid lipstick in the shade Vampy Violet. I'm just going to use this Vampy Purple. Hmm, this is cute. I'm going to put my eyelashes on the camera and I'll be right back. Alright, so my eyelashes are on. And there's only one thing missing. 
using the same highlighter I used for my inner corner, I'm going to use just highlight. This is my semi anti Valentine's makeup look. And to top the whole semi anti Valentine spirit, I'm wearing this nice little shirt with black pants and, of course, snow boots because it had to snow. And again, sorry for the background noise it's terrible if you like this video please click like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time